We're live. Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, hi, hi. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm looking. August the 10th was the last one. Mm hmm. It's been, yeah, almost two months, huh? Almost two months. Yeah. So, what do you guys have today for the community? We it was, There's one question, but I, do you have any demos, screenshots, anything? To see anything, any uh, updates? Yeah, I guess you want to go. Uh, yeah, so so yeah. for today, um, we were hoping to um give updates to the community first and foremost, uh, with regards to, uh, the technical development of Kizuna as well as some community engagements we had uh over the past two months since we last did the AMA, and um yeah we've in. In like uh, hindsight, we really made some big progress, and we're hoping to um, also David. We were hoping to kind of have an ecosystem session soon, um, oh. in order for us to demo what we have going, because um, it's pretty big, especially for the community. And um, we'll tell you more about it later, but um, hopefully we can do that soon. Um, so really, it's just about um, answering, giving some updates, um, answer some questions from live chat, and just checking in with uh, the community. Yeah. Yeah. And if time allows, actually, we could, uh, we would like to show you one, two, maybe like three new features we have in Kizuna. Uh, so a bit of demo as well, just to, uh, you know, have people know what we've been working on as well the past two months. Amazing. Okay. Where do you want to, where do you want to start? Uh, let's go with the update first. Right. Yeah. Um, so how do we go about this? Um, do you want to go with the roadmap first or do you want me to give technical development? I think, update? yeah, I think giving the updates uh, while the roadmap is being shown is uh, great. Awesome. So awesome. you can share. Okay. All right. Just give me a moment. All right, where do we go? Can you guys see my screen? Yes. All right, so um, I'm just gonna show the roadmap we have right now. Um, right, okay. So let's zoom in on that a bit. So as, um, so we've sent a newsletter. What was that again about the roadmap? I'm like, that was uh, last August. month. Last month, okay. Yeah. So, um, we had a internal conversation as well as conversations uh, with the whole team. And we have decided again, again, as we explained in the newsletter, that we're going to be removing those dates that we have set for specifically the alpha testing and beta testing um, due to mainly the uncertainties that comes with, you know, working with new technologies and also um, the features that we need um, in order for Kizuna to be really, uh, to meet our standards in, um, in the production environment. So that's one thing. Um, and in the last two months, actually, we've been working really hard on finding ways for people to actually be able to use Kizuna. And we've had um, massive progress in this uh, end as well. And we've also added a couple of features and these are not um, really reflected on the roadmap. So one of the tricky things is um, there are things that are happening that is not kind of like um, articulated in the roadmap. And so I'm going to be explaining them. So first of all, um, we've had um, constant development of the Kizuna closing um, numerous issues. So we've sent out a newsletter, I think this week, right? We just sent a newsletter. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so we have um, explained in detail what we've been working on. So in the past two months, we've actually encountered a bug in peer-to-peer -peer message that... Um, makes it harder for people to receive and send message um, simultaneously. And this is because um, in Kizuna, peer-to-peer -peer messaging, um, really only like the data that you get, you send and receive only gets stored in your source chain. So we never sent out anything in the public. This means that the only thing we can work on is the source chain of the user. So the source chain is like, you know, your co the collection of data that you've ever created and um, received as well. So um, we've had this issue for a while and then we kind of iterated on 
how we can um, go around it. But we, of all the um, iterations that we did, none of them really met our standards. But um, fortunately, it's a bit weird to say fortunately, but you know, fortunately, Elemental Chat was also having a similar kind of issue. So this is, um, so the whole Holochain core team has accommodate, accommodated this need and they have added a new feature that allows for um, simultaneous writes to the source chain of multiple data. So that's a bit technical, but we, what, that, what that basically means is that you could actually receive and send messages um, almost at the same time. And so that allowed us to move forward. However, we found another bug as we use that feature. And this week we just, um, in this week's Holochain release actually, the 0 .0 0.0.109, that bug fix was included there. Um, and so we've discovered that bug and the uh, Kizuna development team has worked with the Holochain core team as well as with DM to fix the bug. And so that was another, you know, kind of like a fresh experience in, in actually contributing code to the Holochain repository and working with the team. So that issue has been gone. So now peer-to-peer -peer message is really working well. Uh, and we're very, very, very happy about that. And another update is that, um, as you can see in the roadmap, there is this thing here called the P2P voice and video call. So as we've been explaining in the Telegram chat community, um, we plan to use WebRTC for this particular feature. And what we do is, is we use Holochain to send the necessary information to establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection between you and the person you want to call. And then right now, as the first iteration of this feature, we are still using a public server to kind of um, um, allow those two devices to communicate directly with one another. So this is called the turn slash stun server, which is again, a bit technical, but um, we've tried it and we were able to actually have a video call between two devices. And right now we are building the UI so that it can be officially incorporated into the Kizuna feature. So that's the second topic that I wanted to discuss. And the third one um, is the, so we have, we have a couple of features that we've added into Kizuna, which uh, hopefully we could demo later. So these are number one, you could actually reply to a message. So you know how in other messaging applications, you could um, click on the message bubble and then you know tap reply, and then you would be able to send a reply to that message indicating that you're actually um, you know, replying to this particular message. So I'll sh we'll show you that, <clears throat> we'll show you that later. And you could also now search messages by date. So I could also show you that later. And for important messages that you do not want um, you know, other members of the group to miss out on, you could pin them. So uh, we could also show you that later. So that's the third thing. There's been new features. So yeah, there's a lot of updates, <clears throat> updates um, that we've been gone through for the past two months. So and we also said in the newsletter that we fixed a bunch of bugs in the UI as well. So um, you could check out the newsletter and see what those are specifically because there's a lot of them. So I'm not going to be enumerating them one, one by one here. So that's one. And then, um, and then the next thing I want to talk about is what comes next. So this is what um, Akira was talking about. You know, we have some massive update with regards to community engagement. So um, we've been really wanting to share this Kizuna application, even if it's not really fully ready for production use. You know, we would like the community members to feel and play with it and see how it works out. And also we wanna receive feedback from you guys. And what's really great is that recently Holochain has released a desktop application called Holochain Launcher. And this Holochain Launcher, what it basically does is it allows you to run any Holochain application from your desktop. So this, and then you're running Holochain natively. So you're not using Holo or anything else. You're running Holochain natively and you run um, different kind of, um, you know, apps, Holochain applications. And 
right now, if um, as you probably know, DevCamp is running and the participants of the DevCamp have tried this Holochain launcher and they've been playing with Elemental Chess, Elemental Chat. And so we've been working uh, with the Holochain team as well, especially PM to have Kizuna be available in the Holochain launcher as well. And there's this one issue remaining that we are trying to fix right now. But once this is done, we will have Kizuna running in Holochain Launcher. So this means that you could install this Holochain Launcher in the desktop. We're, we're going to provide all the instructions about this um, when once we're ready. And you could install Kizuna, and then you could start chatting with different people that you know. So this is something, this is the first ever time we can have people try out Kizuna. And so we're really excited oh, about this. Can we do it? I've got Launcher running. Oh, no, we still have one issue that is preventing us from... from okay, running. and then we'll do the ecosystem session. Exactly, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. Exactly. I'll, I'll rein back in my excitement <laughs> and mute myself. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> That's... yeah. so we're going to have an ecosystem session soon. And this is the time when we are going to be able to show you how it actually works. And then we're going to have all the instructions you can um, view and read and try it out on your own. So this is the one thing that's really exciting us right now. And um, also on what's next is we're also working on, as you can see in the roadmap, there is this thing called clonable DNA pattern for group messaging. So this is really important for us because we value uh, privacy and security in Kizuna. This is, these are the most um, valuable principles that we hold. And when you can clone a DNA, this means you're creating a separate network for each of the groups that you are in. So anyone outside of the network cannot read your message and you can, no one can join unless you give them the right invitation. So we are starting to architect this as well. So um, stay, um, stay tuned for that as well. And um, also one more thing, we mentioned this in the newsletter, but we have developed we have built, Akira has built a Holoport prototype um, and we have hosted Kizuna there. So this is about Holo now and it's running Holo with, with, with the, all the infrastructure that Holo has you know, built so far. Um, Kizuna is running on top of it and we were able to send messages and work with it. And it's not yet ready for community use because you know we're literally just running the Kizuna in that Holoport prototype that we've built, which is not really even a good spec uh, hardware wise, but um, we're also in communication in, in constant communication with the Holo team. And um, they are also in the works to allow publisher like us and other Holochain applications to be able to hold, have their apps hosted in Holo and let people use it from their browsers. So this is also something exciting. And um, we're gonna be sharing more details uh, about this uh, once we have it. So yeah, uh, there's been a lot of stuff that's going on and we also apologize for not being able to do this AMA for the last two months. Um, it's been kind of like a crazy two months, um, but yeah, we're excited to show all these updates and yeah, so those are the first update that we wanna give uh, to you guys. Yeah. So Amazing. if you have any questions, please pop them in the chat. Yeah, let's just see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the chat as well. Oh, hang on. I was on the chat as well. Um, Akira, is there, was there any update from you? Um, no, not really. Uh, that's pretty much said all of it. Um, on my end, um, it's it's really about um, what, what I want to focus on next is um, uh, this feedback mechanism that we're going to be establishing with the community. Once we have the Kizuna application running on the Holo Holochain launcher, um, I think it's um, I think it's imperative that we get um, feedback because, as you know, um, we are a team that wants to listen to its community and its feedback and kind of iterate um, based on what the community wants and needs. Um, of course, while um, upholding the principles of um, security and privacy. So. Yeah, I'm super duper excited about that um, to get the community engagement going. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've got a little demo for us. So we want to save that for the ecosystem session and just jump into the question. Yep. Perfect. Um, actually, I could show, 
we could maybe answer the questions as um, preparing, like just to show the new features that we have. Yeah, um, perfect. Full, full blown demo. Yeah, let's do that on the ecosystem session. Okay, 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 perfect. So the, the main question that's coming up today is someone's got a pain point around messaging apps and there's so many messaging apps. And I mean, you guys must have this as well, like we go and and especially the contacts are also on multiple platforms. Could Kazuna make it easy for other projects to use Kazuna for their messaging platform and the same messages display in each instance? For example, if Junto were going to do messaging, could you do messages on Junto syncing with messages on Kazuna and other platforms? Yeah, so this is a really great question. Thank you for asking. Um, technically speaking, I think this is possible. So it's all about, um, so in Holochain, everything is really inter interoperable in a sense that we're speaking a common language under the hood. Um, the question is, um, and this is something that we need to explore, I think, as a community, is how can different applications communicate with one another? And also the notion of application is a little bit different in Holochain because it's, so, so, so in Holochain, it's all about Asian centricity, right? So it's not like when you say application, it's not something that is hosted in, in a remote place where you are just a user of that application. You're actually an active participant of the network in Holochain and you are in a network called the DHT. So uh, it really depends on the architecture of, well, for in this example, for example, Junto and Kizuna, and I've heard they are working on this thing called uh, um, Adam in perspective, which kind of allows for different applications to be interoperable. And yep. so um, that's something really exciting. And we are definitely um, like, we don't want to be a, we don't ever want to be like a silo where, you know, it's only the users of Kizuna who can communicate with one another. So this is um, an area of exploration that we would like to, to explore basically. And um, so, yeah, we're um, going to be, in constant communications with different projects in the Holochain community and also move forward how different um, um, applications communicate with one another in that sense. Gotcha. Yeah. But so, and that will all happen within the Holochain ecosystem. Is it possible that it can happen out for messaging applications outside the Holochain ecosystem that don't use like, the, for example, the same protocols under the hood? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think it's, I mean, it's not impossible. So for example, in, um, in a messaging protocol called Matrix, what they do is it allows for different clients to be um, interoperable with, the, with, with other clients. So for example, if you create, so in Matrix, there is this thing called Riot Chat and there are other chat applications that is built with the same protocol. And they can all talk to each other. So it's almost like an email, right? Like in email, you don't really care about what email client you're using um, because you're all speaking the same protocol. And so if I send you an email from Gmail, you can receive it in your Thunderbird client or whatnot. So um, it's all about having that right interface where different chat applications can operate with it. So it's also about those other applications having that kind of interface because most of the time they don't have it because it's a very centralized way. And, you know, for example, like Signal, people in Signal cannot really directly talk to Telegram and all that. So um, that's more possible in Holochain and maybe Matrix is something that we can look at because they have that kind of protocol ready. And if we can integrate them with Kizuna, then um, that's going to be another level of kind of like abstractions in the client that you're using to chat with other people. Yep. Interesting. Okay, let me just double check I've got this. So so no in a lot of cases, but if, if you use something like Matrix, another open source protocol connected that with Holochain, then potentially for then chat so that use like the Matrix engine that could also interface with Holochain applications. So there's an a way of, but that, that kind of means that Matrix needs to be natively supported within Holochain. That's the way of extending out the reach. Is that right? Um, actually, it may not be even 
needed for matrix to particularly support holochain because if holochain if we <clears throat> no no i mean if holochain needs to support matrix um, oh, no, not even then i'm not well that's one thing i'm not yet sure of i'm not yet okay. sure if holochain itself needs to support the matrix protocol maybe that's something that can be done on the app level so meaning like we as the application developer can actually build the right interface so yes uh, in that sense um at the application layer it's probably needed for um us to be able to talk to the matrix protocol yep. but at the at the very at the very base layer of holochain that may not be necessary that there's yeah there okay be... okay got you so you could build it into the application layer so you might be able to interface with matrix in some ways and so then any in theory there will be other open source messaging protocols that could also be interfaced with where you'd have constraints is if they're closed for closed source protocols right Yep. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Hopefully that the great question. Hopefully that answers the. Yeah. Question. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Tats. Yeah. Um. Okay. And and now I think it's it's um it's the time we've all been waiting for. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Let's do this. Um. Guys, wait. Um. There's some questions. Uh. From Telegram. Uh. David, can you please ask them? Oh, there's some questions from Telegram. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oops. Um, hang on a second. Where am I? Um, okay, I'm just loading Telegram now. Oh, it's, in, right. it's in our document. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, this is from <laughs> this is from Louis. So, to make a sim, it's simple for viewer. Could you please? Okay, sorry, sorry. I need to I need to slow down and read this question properly. Could you? Uh, could you describe the practical differences and features between using an old school messenger app and Kazuna? I think there's um. There's a couple of really good images here, Akira, that, that also, I swear I remember different images being made to describe this that'll be in Telegram book. But Tats, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you respond and I'll just see if I can find a Right, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just be back in one sec, but they're, they're, I've, I know I've seen an old image about this now. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, when we did the, the Kickstarter campaign, we had a bunch of images that describes the difference between, you know, um, the Kizuna messaging applications and other mainstream centralized messaging applications. But to put it simply, so first of all, in Kizuna, because we are using Holochain, um, essentially when you, so one of the big differences is one, when you start a group chat in Kizuna, you are completely separated from the rest of the network. So for example, if you chat in other messaging applications, all of your data, right? All of your data, like your user information, your messages, and everything is stored in the servers that they own, whether it is um, their own servers or it is a cloud server that is provided by third party. Um, in Kizuna, even if we use Holo, which is a cloud distribute, uh, distributed cloud server, so that is already a stark difference. The, the hosting infrastructure that we're using is totally different from the mainstream ones. Second, when you create a group chat, you are creating this isolated network that no one can literally enter unless they have the right information. And so that is not something that you have in other applications. Um, and this is built at the very base layer of Holochain. So this is a concept called membrane proof. And if you don't have that membrane proof, you cannot enter that network. And when we say we cannot enter that network, it's not the server telling the user that, hey, you don't have the right information. You cannot enter this particular group. It's more like the people, in, the agents inside those network will not communicate with you, will not communicate with you if you don't have the right information. So that's a stark difference from the centralized application where a single you know, computer is telling you, oh, you cannot do that from an actual active agent in the network telling you, hey, I'm not going to communicate with you because I, you don't have the right information to do so. So that's one 
layer that makes the difference. And um, oh my God, I, we we've made the comparison table of of Kizuna with other messaging applications. Oh, I wish we could pull that out, but um, yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay, okay. Do you think we can pull that out? Do we? Yes, yes, for sure. Um, That's the one I was second. thinking about. Yep. Yeah. Um, give me a sec. Share. I'll be sharing my screen. Go, go, go. Right. You guys see it? Uh, Talking about this, okay. right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So. So the first one, the isolated network for group messaging, that's what I was talking about. And um, Oops. yeah, we say it's spy proof because again, no third party can ever enter the network unless the people inside the network allows them to do so. So this is something that you don't really know in centralized messaging applications, right? Like the company can tell you, oh, you know, we're not doing that. You know, we're not, we're not giving your information to any third parties and whatnot, but under the hood, because they're closed sourced and all their codes are in the centralized server and your information too, like you don't ever know what they are actually doing or if they have any backdoors to allow third parties to access your information. So that's one. And we also have self-destructing messages in all conversations, right? So in other applications, some have, some don't. And um, some mask messages. So this is a gimmick feature that we have in Kizuna where you could actually press on the chat box that you have, and then it's gonna mask the messages for you so that other people cannot see it literally, like physically. And um, some screenshot preventions, message effects, and, um, and also it's open source. So like messaging applications like uh, mess uh, Facebook Messenger, Line, WhatsApp, they're all closed sourced. So that's a lower level of transparency uh, to the community, right? And we're a nonprofit messaging application and we're using a distributed system. That is called Holochain, of course. And your data, this is the most, the most probably the most important thing that you own fully your data and you control them. And this is not just some marketing slogan that we always tell people. This is actually yeah. baked in the architecture of Holochain and Holo. Like no one else can mess with your data. I mean, unless you give them the your private key, but please don't do that ever. Like you are the only one who can ever write to your source chain, right? Even in Holo, even if it's hosted in a, in a Holo port that um, is remote, remote to you, your private key never leaves your device. Actually, it never, it, it's not even stored, right? When you, when you put your email and password, that's the only time your private key is created and stored in a place called iframe. And once you terminate your connection to the Holo network, that private key is destroyed. So it's never stored anywhere. Yep. The caveat there though is please don't forget your password because if you forget your password, you're never gonna be able to, like that's how secure it is, right? Like if you forget your password, even Holo or us cannot really retrieve your account anymore. So these are the things that makes Kizuna um, different from other centralized messaging applications. I hope that was uh, not technical too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i think i think to summarize you know like for for the question um let me let me if i have a go here for lewis i'd say like there's a series of things that holochain enables that makes our holochain chat application fundamentally different from here we go the the five on the left here um, mm -hmm. And then there's a series of things that Tats has just described that continue, Kazuna does that then builds off that. And one of the things that I guess something that's tricky to truly answer that question is that the more we play around and begin the conversation through Launcher, which we'll be doing in the ecosystem session and other, and the more we start to use these chat applications, the more we just start to experience really what is different, both at the infrastructure and the application exactly. layer. We know it's different because fundamentally this type of technology has never been built before, but we don't know how it's different until we have that lived experience. And, and you know, I mean, I had it certainly like the first time I turned the Holoport on and was hosting Elemental Chat, I had that experience. I had it the other day when I was playing with Ware with Eric 
and 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 I'm sure that when I'm on Kazuna with a launcher, I'm going to have the same thing. And there and so there is a bit of a like a gestalt experience, or there's a, there's there's an, a large emotional component to this as well. When you experience for the first time having an application, and you know your data is nowhere else but on your device. And suddenly you start to feel from that experience, then you start to see what else is possible. So I think like also like really want to jump to the guys like kudos for being here so early is really, really, really early days. It's something that's incredibly topical globally. Um, but to be here at this position at this time and see what's going to be possible from what you guys are building with all the frustrations of things not being ready and slow and all of that. I think like just a, a huge kudos to everyone. Great question. Yeah. Um, and great to see it here, but it is hard to, it's hard to show on a table. We're not talking about two of the same technologies and this is an incremental difference that we're, mm -hmm highlighting with different ticks this is a this this is this is a fundamental difference to the way we design use work with technology so um yeah it's it's a total paradigm shift in that sense um, yeah yeah so i think yeah i second what david said i think once we have the launcher ready you're going to feel the power of what it means to run a hologen application because again it just feels different and knowing that you know, your data stays with you and never leaves it, never leaves your device. That's, that's, that's another, that's a, a new level of kind of empowerment for people, especially exactly. people who have um, a strong sense for privacy and security. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe we can jump into the next question. Yeah. Thanks, Akira. Keeping me accountable here. <laughs> All right. So. Gotcha. I, <laughs> so I have one question. So this question um, from R A H X C P H O N seventy six. I have a question about donations. Can you guys create a Binance wallet because the ETH and BTC gas fees are ridiculous and great work? Can't wait to start using the app. <laughs> right. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yes. 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 I, I believe this was uh, asked before and. Um, we definitely can do. Uh, we just have to sort out um, some, some, you know, administrative stuff about having, um, like, because because uh, the owner of the whole chain pro uh, Kizuna project is the ACIJ that is situated in Japan. So we're just trying to um, be careful with all the, you know, the taxes and all that. So, but yes, we're gonna be having the Binance wallet uh, soon, ready. Uh, yeah, actually. Let me take a note of that. One of the things that I need to do. Uh, thank you for asking that question again. Thank you. We'll definitely do. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Is there anything else? Otherwise, Tats, awesome. you want to... Oh, you've got another one coming? I think it's good. Yeah, no questions so okay. far. Mm -hmm. Tats, Give you want to jump into a quick demo? Yeah, just a quick demo, show you guys. Quick, quick, guys, because we'll see the details in the ecosystem session. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. I'm telling the audience, not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a real quick one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 let's close that one. That's good. Okay, so we have, again, as always we do, as we always do, we have three agents running. Um, the team Alice is, and Bob, are they in yeah, town Alex today? <laughs> Alison Bob are in town and also Charlie. Okay. Charlie's here, great. <laughs> okay, and then as usual, we pop the new say hello to them. So just a quick demo. Uh so one thing you could do, right, is for example, uh, you know, Bob, have you read the newspaper today? Right? And Bob would press it and there's a reply button and it shows you that the message is there and yeah that was some <laughs> crazy thing <laughs> right so then it pops into your chat as oh okay he's replying to the to Alice so that's one thing and the second thing is um what are you guys talking about and let's just say for example 
So actually, we had a massive earthquake today. Ah, uh, yesterday in Japan. Um, so let's find the news for that. Okay, let's just. Uh, for example, okay, we want to get that right, and then. Um, it's this one. I'll pin it for you. So let's say, oh, okay, that's some. Some really huge link. Anyway, um, for example, you don't want to have someone forget that you've sent this message. You could actually pin them as well. And when you do, um, the other agents can go to the... Oh, wait, the Zoom panel is preventing me to press the button. There we go. Now, so you have here pinned messages. And it's here you're going to have all the pinned messages that you know um, has ever been pinned, right? Yep. So you could also pin pictures and whatnot. So that's the second feature that we have. And as you know, um, all the messages have been sent today. So if you go to the search and if you search by date, today is October 8th, that's right. You can see all the messages that has been sent today. So uh, once you start using in launcher, right? For example, you've sent messages today and then tomorrow and the next day, and maybe a month after you want to see the messages you sent today, then you could definitely use this feature to do that. So yep. those are the three things that we have added into Kizuna. So this is both available in group and P2P chat. Um, and yeah, for the full blown demo, we're going to be showing that in the next ecosystem session. Amazing. I can't wait. Yep. Can't wait. There's, there, there's so much exciting stuff coming. Guys, anything else that we want to cover today? Uh, for me, that's all. I think we've uh, been able to update the community with what we wanted to. So, yeah. Yep. You okay. Stay tuned. Just stay tuned for the ecosystem session. And hopefully, we were able to give you guys a taste of what's to come and uh, some updates. So, great. Yeah. See you there. Thanks, everyone. And can't wait, can't wait to see you on Kazuna. Yep, exactly. Can't wait, can't wait. See y'all. See ya. Take care. Yep, just ended the stream.